It's a good night. It's going well. But we do have one more idea for you, Jonathan. And it is from Juliet Shreve, who's also from Liverpool. Dear Genius, we have shops such as the Bear Factory where children are taken for a treat to have a bear made as they watch. So, why not a chain of shops where parents can take naughty children to see their favourite teddy being dismantled? <laughs> I would call these shops abattoirs. Wow. Do you have children, Jonathan? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, three. And have yeah. you ever sort of willfully tried to mentally scar them? <laughs> no, not them, but I... Uh... <laughs> There are other things. My teddy bear, oddly enough. Really? When I was very little, and I used to uh, throw it up in the air, and as it came down, <laughs> <laughs> So I'm with you. Um, do, do you have children? I don't children? know. Is that because they've been taken away? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I am actually a student teacher. <laughs> are you really? Yes. What do you tell kids about the tooth fairy? If they don't give them the teeth, they're going to punch their lights out? Or... <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> I thought it might. Um, we've got a sort of our version of an abattoir. Is that what you're calling them? Yeah. OK. Well, we've got an abattoir. Join me at the abattoir, if you will, Mr. Abattoir. Bright. Abattoir. Um, uh, the first thing we thought you might do to hurt uh, a stuffed toy... Uh... <laughs> Uh, we've got a teddy on a rack. That's all I like it. Is that the kind of thing you had in mind? Yeah, that yeah. That kind of thing? Yeah. You turn that one inwards yeah. and I'll turn that one out. We'll see how far the teddy can... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's That's horrible. That's impulsive, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God! He escaped oh. with basically lost a leg <laughs> along the way. Yeah. If a child loved that... Yeah. What, what do you think the effect would be? Well, hopefully it would have quite a big impact. <laughs> <laughs> it would last the rest of their lives so they never get into trouble again. It would prevent crime in the future. <laughs> would it really? <laughs> if you chop a teddy's leg off, everyone knows you can stitch it back on again and it's repairable. So we thought proper destruction was, was the real punishment on this. So we, we have got a wood chipper. <laughs> And, and I think when you read your idea the first time and you felt that sort of frisson of panic in tonight's audience, that's because they know we asked tonight's audience to bring their teddies with them. Um, Sorry. So, everyone who's brought a teddy, and don't lie now that you know there's a wood chipper, <laughs> can you please hold your teddy in the air if you've brought your teddy with you? Oh, wow. OK. Um, Thank you so much. I'm slightly put off by the bondage teddy <laughs> in the top corner. Can you just throw that down here? OK. That's, that's a teddy who's just going to enjoy this, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> that's... I'm not letting that happen, but... Um... <laughs> Can I have a look at your teddy? What's your name? My name's Jess. Your name's Jess? Yeah. And, and the His name's George. He has a name? Yeah. Do you love him? Yeah. Would you like to come and join me on the stage? <laughs> come down. This is Jonathan Price. Meet Jonathan Hello. Price. Hello. He's a world-famous actor. This is Jess. She's got a teddy. Um, <laughs> Jonathan, would you like to hold the mic and, and you can sure. maybe offer some counselling to Jess? <laughs> OK. OK. Uh, Don't worry. So we'll gonna... be all right. We'll be all right. George, was it? Yeah. OK. I'm going <laughs> to put him in, in the wood chipper, OK? Do you really love him? Mm. I'm going to press the on button. Are you ready? Mm. <laughs> That's George. Mm. You want a bit of that? Yeah. How are you feeling? Gutted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we couldn't actually. But how, how bad did it feel as, as, as I pressed I, the button? It's like losing an arm. <laughs> how, how, how bad are you feeling, Juliet? Well, I think that was quite mean because you hadn't actually been naughty. <laughs> I think, it's a, it's I think totally she had. Scenario. Jess, have you, have you ever been naughty? Me 
GP once. That was naughty, you see, so she has been. I think you'll find. A round of applause. Back, you can yeah. take your seat. Sure, so you Can we uh, head back to our seats also? Uh, Jonathan Price, Juliet Shreve, Abert Toise, genius or not? Well, I, I'm deeply conflicted. Uh, hurting bears, yes. <laughs> Scarring children for life, no. <laughs> um, I can't let it happen. Sorry, not genius. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hey. 